So where do I start this one? Oh yeah, I have a problem. You know that feeling when at last the sky clears? After all the rain and the snow, the universe opens up for you and your heart races with anticipation for a night of astrophotography. It's a rare gift this time of year. And though you have ongoing projects waiting for your attention, the allure of discovering new wonders pulls at your soul. You've lost so much precious time to the whims of the weather, and now it feels like you have no time to start those projects you've been waiting for since last year. A question that begs for an answer. Which one will you choose? I vividly remember a pact with myself last year where I told myself I would just pick up where I left off. I have so many projects that need more exposure time. But the temptation of capturing something I never have before is really strong right now. Not only that, but I decided to double down. Since I only have one night till God knows when, I'm going to try and start two new projects. And I'm going to need some seriously fast optics. Here we are. Not exactly clear though, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna set up, I'm actually here super early cause I gotta set up Hyperstar. But um, yeah, hopefully things will turn out the way they should be. and running I got hyperstar going on I got my skywatcher GTI going on at the same time boy I tell you after work it was a lot of work trying to set up two rigs so I must be crazy because it's cold I'm in my parka right now uh, it's in the teens right now it's like 19 degrees so it's super cold but I got both scopes up and running and uh, hopefully we'll get some good data tonight. <laughs> All right, one thing I had to do tonight was check my Hyperstar make sure I had the right filter in it because it is faint the signal I'm getting at f2 I'm like not sure if I'm going to get anything but I forget how faint the boogeyman nebula is and also m78 you know I've shot it last year and whatnot so when I think back it's super faint it turned out okay but it's kind of scaring me you know even at f2 how faint this stuff is is uh, a little frightening, especially when you're spending hours out here. So you just don't want to waste your time, right? But I'm going to have faith that uh, I'm going to get a epic photo out of this.
All right, well, I've already broken down my Hyperstar rig, and I got probably another hour with my GTI. Just wrapping it up there. I still need to take flats with it. Uh, and I think I got all the data that I needed from Hyperstar on M78. So hopefully I can get a picture out of that. I, I think I can. I'm pretty confident in that one. Um, as far as the Vulture Head Nebula or LBN, is it LBN or LDN? L I think it's LDN 777. I'm not totally sure, right? But I guess we'll see. Throughout the years, I've noticed something about myself. Despite my better judgment on how time could be used more effectively in my astrophotography, because God knows I have projects that desperately are in need of more exposure time, I find myself gravitating towards the new things, never yet discovered by me. Is it the human instinct for exploration and wondering what's up there? Or if astro attention deficit exists, then I think I have it. One thing is for sure, I always gravitate to what makes me happy in the moment. And I didn't do too bad considering how dim the objects I was going after were. I shot LDN 777 in monochrome, and by the looks of my one hour in luminance, I captured a lot of dust data. And I definitely didn't get enough signal on LRGB to make a photo. But I did get LDN 777, and what looks like a healthy start to a multi-year target. My second target for the evening told a different story. Here's my hyperstar data with the stars removed. This is it color mapped and right before I do some final edits. To my surprise, I got a lot of detail in the nebula, especially in this section of Bernard's loop. I found some interesting features that I'll probably shoot later down the road. A familiar friend, the Boogeyman Nebula made an appearance as well. And surprisingly, M78, I got a lot of data on. I'm pretty confident a second night with Hyperstar for four hours will give me some great results here. <laughs> 